So we are actually here by the White House. So if you look over there, that's the White House. I can't see anything. Yeah, they can't see anything. Well, maybe that's a good thing. So we're not actually at the White House, people. <laughs> Do people in China know about John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, okay. yeah definitely. So everyone, I think, knows about Lincoln, right? Yeah. Fewer people know about Kennedy or about the same? Mm, I think about the same. About the same? Yeah. Okay. So if you have ever looked up coincidences between Kennedy and Lincoln, it can lead you down a rabbit hole. Have you ever looked this up? The coincidences between Lincoln and... Uh, yeah, I okay. kind of heard of this. You've heard about this? I actually first found out about this when I was in China, believe it or not. So I got this book when I was in China and somehow I found out about American history through Chinese stuff. So let's explain some of the things here. Both of them were elected to Congress a hundred years apart. So, I mean, would you call that a coincidence? A lot of people have a hundred years difference, right? Yeah. They were also elected to president a hundred years apart. Okay, still coincidence. I don't think that's anything conspiratorial or whatever. Andrew Johnson mm -hmm. was the person that replaced Lincoln when Lincoln died. And Lyndon Baines Johnson was the vice president that replaced Kennedy when Kennedy died. So wow. I'll explain to you like this, you know, a lot of people in the West, their last names are Smiths or Johnson. So oh. having someone with the last name Johnson, it's kind of like me, I'm Liu, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. So like her last name, I'm not gonna dox her, but her last name is not very common in China. But like a Johnson is like a Zhang. A lot of people in China are like Zhang. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The person who assassinated Lincoln was John Wilkes Booth. And the person who assassinated Kennedy was Harvey Oswald, Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Booth was not a Southerner. So that is wrong. But you see, even American sites get this wrong. Booth was not a Southerner. He was just a stage actor who had sympathies for the South. This is absolutely false here. So um, you'll hear this in American articles too. Booth shot Lincoln in a theater and then went and hid in a book depository. Whereas Oswald shot Kennedy in a book depository and he went and hid in a theater. Now the part about Oswald is true. Oswald, after you know doing his act, was caught in a theater watching a movie. But uh. Booth definitely did not go hide in a book depository. So this is absolutely wrong. Um, but it would be funny if it's like the same group of people who wants to kill them. Yeah, it's yeah. The same I mean, you never know, maybe it same. is, right? That's the thing. I mean, that's why there seemingly are these coincidences. Yeah. Maybe it is a signal. It is a signal, hey, we're the same people, right? You never know. <laughs> so both of them, unfortunately, lost their lives on a Friday, okay? Mm. Both of them were shot back here, oh. and both their wives were there. Okay, coincidences, yep. Lincoln, she's like, Fu -te. so Lincoln died in a theater called the Ford Theater, mm -hmm. and Kennedy was in a Lincoln car, and Lincoln is owned by the Ford Company. Oh. That's kind of coincidence. <laughs> Kennedy had a secretary named Lincoln who told him, hey, be careful. The claim is that Lincoln also had a secretary named Kennedy, but that's not true. I'm surprised this would be in a children's book. I know. <laughs> who wrote this? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I read this when I was nine or 10. <laughs> so I don't know if this is a good thing, but then if you look at this book, there's like a decapitation, like mm -hmm. someone's head gets cut off in this book. So oh. like, see, someone's head gets cut that's... off in this book. So, bloody. Yeah, exactly. So it's about a Some of these um, tales in here might not be true. So just so you guys know. But the final piece of trivia that people claim that I will dispel is, so before Lincoln died, he was in Monroe, Maryland. The joke is Kennedy, you know how Kennedy, um, uh, you know, like he had mm -hmm, yeah. Marilyn Monroe. I was actually in that, uh, I was in the extra background American crime story oh. when they was actually shooting that scene when the when they was asking the actor Kennedy about the intern uh -huh. about like we make that show when he walk out of the hotel and then a lot of this paparazzi go to him and ask him about that were you a paparazzi uh, I was the tourist looking oh uh, I see <laughs> I see, that's pretty funny. So the myth is that right before Kennedy died, he was figuratively in Monroe, as in in Maryland Monroe, but that's not true. Monroe died a year before Kennedy died, so that's false.
So now that you know the official truth, does it feel like enough of a coincidence or do you think it was just a lot of unfortunate misinformation? I think it's just uh, misinformation, but I'm more curious about who is behind it. Yeah. Like everyone is curious about ah, that. I totally agree. Yeah.